Sup, bitches. Welcome back to yet another episode of Papa's Wingeria. As always, we let Joe go first because he's old as fuck and may die before he even gets a turn to go. And then no one will believe me that I'm better than him. I go first because my name is way before you're alphabetically dumbass. And did you say Nigeria? How is Barrack's granny doing? Pretty hot over there, I assume. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there. You're hyper today, aren't you? But I think his grandmother is busy peeling bananas for the, the Laffy Taffy factory. The, 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 you're stuttering, you fat stroke time bomb. Bomb, 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 bomb. Bomb, bomb, Saddam. Haha, that song is so 2009. Yep, the golden internet era. The era of chat room sites. Yes, I love those. Uh, I got you, you goddamn pedophile. No, man, I was just chatting, that's all. What was her name? Isabella. No, her username. Isamuchkin2002. Oh, what the fuck, you're nasty, you're so fucking nasty. Oh. Hey, guys. What's up, why are you so fucking late? You missed a lot. I was cooking and washing the dishes before Michelle came home. I don't want her to go all psycho on me. Haha, ha, pussy. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, what were you discussing? Well... Donald! Joe actually... Don't you dare tell him anything. Oh my god, this is gonna be a juicy one I can tell? No, it's nothing. Oh, it's something, all right. Joe met a... Don't you fucking dare. Joe met Izamuchkin 2002 in a chat room in the early 2000s. Ew, what the fuck? I thought she was of age, I swear. Dude, she has 2002 in her username. Years and usernames usually indicate their birthday. Well, I didn't know that. I'm sure you didn't. Okay, okay, what year was it? It was 2008, I think. No, stop, stop talking. Well, it was in December. It was almost 2009. Oh, you hear that, Donald? It may look like the girl was only six, but she was actually almost seven. Oh, yeah, she was almost seven. That makes a huge difference. No big deal. It's not like she's six or anything. Fuck off, guys. She was probably an adult. She was capable of doing a role play with me over Skype. Wait, then you definitely seen her or at least heard her voice to know, right? Well, we didn't ever call each other. We just texted through Skype. We pretended I'm a supervillain and she's a superhero who saved the day by driving her chopsticks into my chest. I think chopsticks were a great weapon for her to have because she was Chinese, I think. Bro, how much sicker can you get? Please tell me this is so fucking weird. And how do you know she's Chinese? It's okay. It was just a regular role play. And her chat letters were the color red, and she said she liked dragons and big hats. Put one and two and three together to get the full picture. Damn, you truly are one racist motherfucker. He probably told her to roleplay as an 18-year-old. Nasty, sick son of a sex. And while we are on the subject, Barrack, Joe said that your mother is a banana peeler in Nigeria before you joined. A banana peeler? Joe? I made the Nigeria joke, and Donald made the banana joke about your grandmother, not your mother. Oh, and Donald dropped a hard R and then hailed Hitler and Satan. He also said that white power is the only power there is. What the fuck? Ha ha, damn, you are a terrible liar, Joe. You put too many bad things into a single sentence. Do you really think Donald, a very controversial public figure, is retarded enough to directly spew all that in one sitting while having the possibility of you recording the conversation? I don't think he's smart enough to record if I did say something, so stop flattering him. You're right. We can't play dumbass. The screen is frozen. You just have to hit the keyboard hard and it will work. Do you really think I'm that stupid? Tell that shit to Joe. Back in his day, the cavemen probably hit the stony computers with clubs for it to work. The 2020 election was fair. No, it was not. Shut the fuck up. I will kill you. Fuck. There, see, it's working again. Piss off and go fuck Scooter. I mean, she's not bad, you know, in good shape and all, kind of cute. No, I meant an actual fucking scooter. I want Joe to put his dick in the corner of the scooter where it folds and then remove the spring-activated quick-release rod. Ouch. Yeah, very ouch. I got the first bronze customer. Wasn't Hank the first bronze customer? Hank wasn't a bronze customer. Hank was a prick. Oh, good. Thanks for letting another black joke slide. Phew. Wait, what? Haha, <laughs> that's a good one. I got a good one for you, Donald. Oh, yeah? Oh, goody. Another bronze customer. You're going to lose, Donald. Oh, that was the joke? Yes. Not so funny now, huh? Ha ha ha. That's very funny, actually, because we all know I can't lose, but you said I will. Ha ha ha. Oh, shit, the critic. Wait, Donald, we are actually fucked. Huh? What do you mean? Did you see all the bronze medals Joe got? And now he got the critic? He is going to score a lot more than me, and you ever will combined. <laughs> ah, shit, I knew this challenge had a flaw. Well, we are in too deep, can't stop now. Oh, shit, he got a third bronze on George Harrison's retarded cousin. Yep, his cousin will enjoy my chicken because he's cool. 
Cringe. Haha, <laughs> say what you want. I'm getting so much stuff today. This shit's rigged. I might have to agree. What? He got 1,000 in one day. You know what? Thank you, Joe. Uh, you're welcome. To show my gratitude for your kind gesture, let me make you a huge hamburger. I hope you trip. No, man, I'm MLG Pro Bro 360. Cringe. Watch the pro do it. You dropped a perfectly cut delicious cheese at the end. I don't know how the show host didn't disqualify you. Barrick will surely love my burger a lot more than yours. No, man, mine is extra supreme. I'm flattered that you two are so eager to kiss my ass. But now that you're done, I was thanking Joe because he got us the blue ribbon, meaning the winner will have a lot of money to spend. Yep, the winner could show you some extra dough because of the inflation. Yeah, that's crazy. It literally hit the game. Yeah, it's crazy how much riz I can pull off with those wing-eating chicks. Now watch that petite slut Latina enjoy my enjoy my fucking dick. She's a stupid cum slut. What the fuck? Haha, <laughs> no riz. He can't even fuck a scooter. Ha ha ha. Watch me. I'm going to make this order just right. It will be perfect. You, even that rim job of a drummer from the Cleveland Steamer Band doesn't like you. But she does. But she doesn't. Who cares? She had a butt plug on her helmet. Ha uh ha. -huh. And a diet chicken meal for the man of Hispanic descent that happens to be slightly big. It's us, Joe. You can say it. He's a fat Mexican. You did the right thing. No, that's racist. I bet if I win this challenge, it would be racist, too, because I didn't let a black man win. Yeah, same. Relax, Joe. You're a Democrat. Damn, you did pour this time? Yeah, I may have, but let's see how well you do your two days. I guess that 1,000 makes up for his shit day. Yup. Now let me show you how to fuck a scooter, Sleepy Joe. And please give this poor Mexican bastard his diet meal again so he ever comes back. I'll see what I can do. Perfect chicken, as usual. Yup. And I fucked a scooter. Said no one ever... And I fucked over a Donald Trump. You sure did. You've spilled the beans. Huh? Someone had a secret? No, the beaners. Barrack scattered them out of the can, but in this case, the can is the border. Dude, you are so brutal towards Mexicans. How come? You'll laugh. I can't tell you. You got a smaller dick than them? No, but this virgin fuck what does. Did the illegals mug one of your family members? No, no, no. I don't like them because they are stealing all my petite Latinas. Uh, I feel you. Yep. Look at this. Feast your eyes. Such a beautiful scene when a retard that happens to be George Harrison's retarded cousin smiles so beautifully when he eats the chicken. That is beautiful, Donald. That bitch. She needs dick. Tell me about it. I just did retard. Haha, <laughs> smartass. Well, well, well. Looks like I've made more than you this week, Donald. No shit. I made zero points because it isn't my turn yet, duh. Yeah, well, 515 is still more than zero. Look, that's fine. Just get through this day so I can win this damn challenge. It's getting kind of boring playing this, to be honest. I couldn't agree with you more. That's why we are doing only three rounds. Yep, imagine we do seasons and episodes for this. Well, technically, this is already in episodes, but seasons would suck. Agreed. I bet you're so mad watching me and Joe serving Mexicans and retarded musicians and pirates and homos real good. No, I understand. Serve your kind. Oh, God, I can only imagine what Donald will do when it's his turn. <laughs> what the fuck was that? That was a creepy Joe impression. Anyway, watch me. What the fuck, Hugo? That buzz cut and matching tracksuit with tan glasses can only mean one thing. What does it mean? He's a Colombian bastard who came here to sell drugs and break skin and bones of ones who don't buy from him with a machete. Whoa. Animals, I tell you. Oh, man, oh, man, I'll give you your chicken strips, all right? He makes me worried. He makes me sick. The only one who is going to be sick here is this monster. There, raw chicken, just the way this savage likes it. This cutthroat probably bites into coyote necks for food anyway. I even added a bit of sauce, and that's being generous. You really got problems. No, man, the one with problems here is Joe. He's a goddamn suitcase full of them. Here you go. I hope you choke on it, you goddamn Hugo Boss brand ripoff son of a bitch. You cheap motherfucker, you look like a goddamn cock. Look at this perfect head and this narrow body. Get some girth, man. Imagine being named after a brand shirt that your gangbanging dad was wearing after banging your mama. She was probably like, I'm pregnant. And he was like, what should we name it? And his mom looked at his cum-stained halal rib sauce, stained, blood-stained shirt that was full of holes, by the way. 
and her poor third world country 144 YouTube pixel vision read out the word Hugo. Yeah, 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 said the dad who got killed five minutes later. Hugo it is. And now here he is savagely eating a raw animal right in front of me. Now he's not happy. What the fuck did I do? It's not my fault that you're such a savage animal. Bruh. Donald, you literally served him a raw chicken. What did you expect? I don't fucking know. Maybe he could have cooked it like a normal human being. But aren't we supposed to do that? We are a restaurant after all. Honestly, Donald, I think you've been watching too many hood site videos. Yeah, and it was so terrible. Now I have to serve his cousin, Alberto Cholo Loco, who probably invited him here on a drug dealing business deal trip. Please, Donald, stop. You'll get us canceled. Please serve him well to show love to all. Here is my love, a shitload of sauce. He will be happy eating this. It will remind him of his favorite salary dip lunch before his soccer game back in El Salvador. Wow. Spoiled son of a sex. Yeah, I bet his abuela would have whooped his ass with a rolling pin. <laughs> oh, come on. Not you too, Barrack. We're getting canceled. No, Mr. Black kids are just as bright as white kids. If you're still up after that, we will stay up. Good point. One sec. I have to serve Harrison's retarded cousin and the state of Utah and the virgin fuckwit who is now a bronze customer. Man, I'm gonna win, ha! Huh? And of course the Republican... You're insane, like actually insane Donald. You're going off-road right now. This is a red zone. You're speaking taboo. You can't speak like this. This is very wrong in every sensitive and political way possible. Let's sing the white people song so we don't get in trouble. It can balance out the jokes, too. White people... I got bullied in school. White people... I will become a cop so I can... Bully you. Damn, that's so 2016. White people. Okay, enough. White people get enough shit from the media already. No, it's never enough. Nope, enough is enough. That segment will be enough to bring balance to all the jokes. Plus, if they want white jokes, they can just go on TikTok. Yep, but not on this channel. White supremacist. Nope, we make fun of everyone here. Welcome back to the early 90s and 2000s, people. No, get with the times, old timer. <laughs> I'll pretend you didn't say that, Joe. Let's continue, Donald. One more to go. Yep, I'm excited because I got 100 more than you first round. Uh -huh. I hope you get 200 this round. Haha. Uh -huh. Do you know the definition of insanity, Joe? Why are you asking me? Because you are insane. Anyway, the definition of insane is doing something over and over again while expecting a different outcome every time. This is the shit this stupid drug thug is pulling right now. Coming back again and again and again and again. What do you expect? Here's raw meat again, dumbass. Get the message. You are not welcome. Oh, look, he liked it. What the hell? See, I told you he's a fucking raw meat-eating savage animal. Let me help your brother out, Barrack. Thanks. And here is a fiesta for the fat Mexican. I want him nice and fat. The fatter the better, the fatter the more time it will take for Hugo to cut him up and eat him. Meaning Hugo won't be back for weeks. What the fuck? This son of a sex is so ungrateful for the extra chicken. Maybe that's because he heard what you just said. You really are a sick man, Donald. Please don't say that again, Joe. Homeless bastard. And I win. See, I win. What the? Go eat a banana. Eat a dick, nigga. I still got more, I bet. Well, let's calculate this shit. Yep, just as I thought, I'm the winner this round. And the winner of the entire challenge with a total of 3,142. You're off by nearly 100, Sleepy Joe. Too bad. Huh, what? Why is the screen black? It's the Russians. Enough with your Russian cover-up bullshit. What is this? Oh, it's nothing. It's... Barrack, what are you doing? Why aren't you talking? I'm back. I was taking a piss. Yeah, sure you were. Why is the score screen black, huh? It's the Russians. Shut up, Joe. I think it's a glitch. Say Microsoft help into the PC. You really think I'm that stupid? Just do it. All right. Microsoft help. See, it works. Oh, that's a bummer. It seems like my score is only 53. Oh, man. Congratulations, Barrack. Well, thank you very much. Fake news, fake news, bullshit, this is rigged. I took a screenshot before you changed the score, you know. Shit. Oh no, Donald, this is fair because me and Joe are a Democratic Party, therefore our score could be as one. So technically, we win by default. But Joe here was kind enough to let me hold the victory. So I am now the best president that ever be presidented in U.S. history. Nope, it's rigged. I got the screenshot. Too bad, I win. Wait, I actually win. Anyway, I gotta go by guys. Classic Joe. All right, Barrack, I'll see you later. I think we should go and hang out at Tom's. Tom's? Yeah, it's a restaurant that's like 10 to 15 blocks away from Prospect Park. The Seinfeld show was filmed in there. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Yes, we should go. Should I invite Joe? Yeah, why not? Yep. Yep. We'll see you then.
See ya.